Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the We Do Stuff modded Minecraft server. So the island is completish. It's not the best island. Not in the least. <laughs> but, you know, it's not too bad. That border there I just can't seem to get rid of. I don't know. I extended it Okay, sorry about that. Uh, apparently, I had forgotten to change that option server properties to allow flying. Because that's kind of an annoying little quirk with the modded Minecraft. Technically, you shouldn't be getting that because the flight is permitted by the mod. But sometimes it kind of quirks out. So anyway, as I was saying, I have moved these guys here, and the island is more or less complete. I've got all the lights everywhere, so it looks it looks okay. I don't know. I might change the color of the lights. I don't know if red is really a good color. I might actually change them to gray so they blend in more. But, so we've got this guy here. What we need to do now oops, is get these nexuses going. So all of the nexuses are pretty much the same in design. It's really the material and the chalk that is used to make the nexus pentagram, I guess. Is, that's different. And I, I want to do all of these out of... Well, with the stone base. Just so they've got a common point. Let's get that off my bar. And break you. There we go. Oh. Oops. Not what I wanted to do. Oh, no. Damn it. There. <laughs> so this one here is going to be the light nexus. So the light nexus is a 5x5. Five five. Pretty much everything here is 5x5. Five five. It is made out of the quartz block and then capped with gold or diamond um, glass like let's take a quick where did I put my book where the hell did I put my book did I lose my book nope I put it in here uh yeah this is the essence nexus we want light nexus so here we go you can do block of diamond Moonstone, glass, all sorts of different materials. But what you need for this is the white chalk. So, I should have everything in my inventory to get these chalks. So, let's make this white chalk. Eh? What am I missing? Got bone meal. Ah, oh, damn it. Took the arcade. Oh, I didn't actually have any arcane ash. I had ventium. I need... Oh, this one. Blue is ventium. These guys are arcane ash. Which is that. Damn it. Alright. Let's go get some of that. Boop. Let's get rid of that there. Pop you off. Do I have any ash? I do not. All right. Well, right. Oh dear. There we go. I need to get like import export buses or something on that. And we're going to need a few of these, I'm sure. 
Let's make ten of them. There we go. That'll do for now. Cook them up, and that should get us our arcane ash. Got four. Let you do that, and good enough. Now we can make this chalk. So let's make the white chalk. There we go. White chalk. New entry unlocked. So what we need is... Boom! And it uses up the chalk. But this, you can see, is kind of absorbing. Now, we can't check how much energy this thing has. Let's make the rest of these chalks because we're going to need them. There we go. And we need a... Magitech Staff, which is a Shimmerite, a Stick, and a Mana Focus. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's go back here and we shall make these. Wow. So I need you... Sad that I have to do it this way. And then redstone. Magitech. Around you. I don't know why it didn't pull the Ventium, but sure. Oh, maybe because I didn't have that in my inventory. So I need Shimmerate and Stick. Stick. And we need one Shimmerate. And now we have this Magitech Staff. Now what this allows us to do, how is the light here? Little bits here and there. Nothing too spectacular. Let's head over here. And as you can see, there's no particles now. So this stored quite a bit of energy during the day. So I'm going to sleep partially because I want that thing to continue going. And partially because I want my farm to continue going. And there we go. So now we're back, and we're gaining power. So basically, as far as I know, all this does is tells me what kind of power it has. So next nexus we need to make is the essence nexus. Let's grab you. And replace you, 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 and you. Now the Essence Nexus. This one's fairly simple. It's stone blocks and chiseled stone bricks. So I've got these guys here. And... Boop! Boop! And this one, I believe, is the blue chalk. There we go. So now, this one here isn't producing any essence. Now, the reason for this is quite simple. It is because it doesn't know about it. It has no ability to produce energy on its own. This thing has to have the some liquid essence. So that's what I made that channel for. And we'll get some liquid essence momentarily. And first, I'm just going to do this. Grass is growing pretty good. Now we need to do the dark nexus. 
Now, the Dark Nexus is the most dangerous of the Nexuses. So, I believe... Yeah, I think I was going to do Obsidian. Now, I don't know what the different caps do. Now, supposedly they do different things, but I didn't see... I, I kind of glossed over this, but I don't see any mention to what the different caps do. Unlike the crafting altar, where it tells you what the different materials allow you to do. So, like, the witch wood that I've got is a plus three effect, and the redstone is plus three effect. So, presumably that's plus sixteen effect. But this one here... What did I decide? I decided on obsidian. Which means this one's going to be a but a pain in the butt to take down, but not the end of the world. And this one you use a red chalk. So again, you'll notice this has no essence in it because we need some form of mob. So let's go and get, oh, I have my portal gun on me. Let's plop you in there and you in there. Oop. And might as well get rid of you. So let's go get some sort of mob. These guys look good. So, let's take you. Uh, <laughs> Alright. And... It gets pulled in and destroyed. And now we have 1900 essence. That's actually pretty damn good. Huh. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, I gotta clean that out. So let's head back into here. Get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you. Get rid of all of this stuff. Because I don't need it right now. I'll keep this. And I need buckets. I need four buckets. Because what we're going to do right now is we're going to move the rest of this stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Why did I make the covers out of this? Oh. Oops. <laughs> there we go. That'll eventually dissipate. <laughs> Nothing to see here. So, we've got this bucket pool liquid essence here. For now, let's pop you there. You there. You there, and you are actually going to go in here. So, with this, you put the essence in, and as soon as it detects it, it will start absorbing it. And you'll be able to see soon that it actually will disappear. And if we do that, get rid of that. We check this out. You can sort of see if you could read the really, really dark blue. That's about as good as I can get it. It's 3440 essence. Yeah, there's. That is a horrible color. <laughs> In the video, it's probably going to come up just as a blue blurb. So, what I'm actually going to do is. do this. Boop, boop. There. That'll just make it a little bit nicer. Because now I can come over here and place it instead of having it right where I'm potentially going to walk. So, as you can see, each one of these has their own little quirks to them. 
if I'm going to need a lot of this neutral, this is neutral essence, by the way. Dark essence and light essence. Go figure. So the spell that I have here requires neutral essence. 500 neutral essence. So unfortunately, you have to use this. There is a way to convert light and dark into neutral. Unfortunately, there seems to be a problem, or maybe it's by design, I don't know, where you can't connect that device up to here. And that device is a mana battery. So if we do mana battery. So this little guy here, not too hard to make. You know, a little shimmerite, some ventium, arcane ash. Nothing too spectacular. You can't connect it to the crafting nexus for some reason. Or the crafting altar. I don't know why. I haven't figured that out. And I don't know if other people have. Although I haven't heard a lot of complaints on it. Like I watched Direwolf 20s on this. And he ran into the same problem. Maybe it's just a version issue. Or what. But I'm going to have to look up and see a little bit more on that. See if I can figure out if it's by design or what. But. Let's get this out of here. Let's put these in there. Oh, let's get the Oculus and this out. Uh, let's put you there and you there just because we can. So do I have... Yeah, I haven't made, I haven't made a spell, that's why. There. Alright, let me get everything together for this spell, and I shall return. Okay, so my microphone got all derpy there. So what we're doing here is we are going to make ourselves our spell. So, so we line ourselves up here. Don't know what I was talking about here, which is unfortunate. Because I may have actually said something semi-witty, but I doubt it. And checking my energy. Probably talking more about these things and how they are required and each one has a different thing. And that's mana generate regen, which you get once one of these is at 10%. You get mana regen. And yeah, I'd gone out exploring and picked up some more of the liquid essence. Because I needed a couple of those flowers there, like the Desert Nova. So I came across a pool, a little 2 by 2 pool. Picked all that up. And just going to drop all of that stuff down. There we go. And hopefully we'll get to this whole spell crafting soon. Just checking all my different things. I really wish that uh, my mic had recorded here, because I probably said something that was actually semi-important. It looks like I'm actually explaining something. This was actually a really good segment for me. I don't usually have that, you know, matter-of-fact confidence that I had here. I felt really good about it, and it really pissed me off. Oh, yeah, talking about this crystal wand... You need to you need this crystal wand here in order to link up the essence with anything that uses it, any machine. So and that's why I had to go out exploring. So let's pull that up here. Crystal wrench. So it needed that desert nova. So we're gonna need that for linking the neutral essence up to the crafting altar. So we're going to put the book in as soon as we find it. And that's what we need. So I've got everything that is required in my inventory. So I'm just reading off what it needed there, which I didn't do now because I didn't. So this is where we're using the brain. Let's get everything off the bar. Put that over there. 
And we're trying to use a memory. Drop everything off in the chest that we don't need. Just keep what we need, precisely what we need, and where we need it. And everything else can just go away. So that lesser focus, I don't think I ever showed how to make that lesser focus. Might show that some other time, maybe next episode. And I think we got everything mostly in order, actually. We got all but one in order. The... what was it? Ah, the Ventium and the Lesser Focus I had switched. So, just switch that over. And we are in perfect order. So, first thing you start off with is you toss your blank rune in. And then it shows over the book what you need next. So, we throw the um in there. Ventium. Now it needs the lesser focus. And now it needs the energy. So we link that, gets that pillar there. Boom. Lightning bolt shows that it's linked up. And flick the lever, and you'll see the energy stream over, and you saw that the lever flicked back on its own. So now it's asking for the blue rune. Toss that in. Apple. There it goes. And the spell parchment. Boom. There she be. So we now have a spell. Isn't it pretty? So we now it's just basic regen. We've got choose an icon. There's a lot of icons to choose from, and there you go. We now have a basic regen spell that casts on ourself, and sadly you can see there that it failed to cast, and that is because... Oh, <laughs> crafting table. What it is, 270 is what it needs at the crafting level. You see in the lower right-hand corner where you see that half moon where I'm pointing now, if that's a half moon, you're in mid casting. I press C there, and that brought it to low casting, where it only costs, I believe it's roughly 30. I can't remember because sadly I actually casted it. Casted it? I cast it, and that causes a burnout, which increases the mana cost. It's kind of a way for you not to spam spells. Now, every time you cast a spell, you get magic XP. So this magic XP goes towards your magic level. And sadly, you can't spam it. If you spam it, it doesn't give you any XP. There's a cooldown period with it. So what you need to do is just slowly but surely cast it every now and then. And you will gain levels. Like right now, you can see that I'm at level 5. And that will give me some extra skill points. So we check over in the Oculus, and I have two skill points. At least I believe that said two. So I can choose different things, but you see how there, there's a couple that are green named and red named. Those ones I can't do anything about. <laughs> and I'm just, the scrolling is a little off. So I can choose all of these things, mana regen one, color... These are all different things that can be learnt from the Oculus. There's your affinities that are... You gain those by actually casting the spells. Each spell has a specific elemental affinity, I guess would be how it's actually said. So, I choose projectile and physical damage. So that way, when we if we create another spell with this... We can create something that like throws a magic ball, kind of like magic missile. And it will cause physical damage as opposed to, say, elemental damage. So, that is about all for spell creation. That's the basics of, you know, Ars Magica right there. Um, at this point, I'm just going to be randomly casting the spell and trying to gain my or raise my level up 
And uh, this is, I'm showing you how it doesn't do anything. It just eats up your mana. So, anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and you have yourselves a wonderful day. We'll see you next time. Take care.